Hi Edu friends, hello everyone and welcome to Fresh Talks or FE Talk which means Fresh Education Talks The show where we explore the world through the experiences of stu- students studying abroad And I'm your special host today and my name is Tony and we have also Dwi and Hi, viewers <laughs> A new guy Yeah, and of course Ita, okay. Hi. So for today we are diving into a festive of heartwarming episode as we discover how the holiday season is celebrated by students away from home. So yeah. we're diving into the exciting today's topic, preparation for the new semester overseas. And happy new year to you first of all. Yeah. Yes. Before we start it. <laughs> happy new year 2024 to you all guys. Okay, yeah, we'll have a okay. Bright year t- this year, 2024. Yes, happy new year to all of you guys. <laughs> Hope this new year can bring a good uh, prospects and also prosperity to all of you and can elevate your knowledge and also your study uh, targets and also your accomplishment to a successful career and successful education program. Okay, so, oh, okay, we have a question here from Kevin. Oh, Kevin. Kevin. Yeah, hey. how, okay, how are you, how are you Kevin? Hi, Kevin. Hi. How are you, Kevin, this new year? Ah, okay, okay. So, Kevin is asking, uh, uh, Kaita, oh, Kaita, it means you. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, Kaita, how are you today? Oh, how, was, how was your New Year's Eve? Uh-huh. So, how's your New Year's Eve, Ita? My no, Ita. New Year's Eve is so... Uh, How do you say? It? Oh, I spent it with my family, with my mom. Mm-hmm. Oh, that long? Wonderful. <laughs> That's a wonderful New Year. Not that long, but mm-hmm. we joined the crowd at the Central of Jakarta, mm-hmm. at the uh, near the Bundaran Hai, you mm-hmm. know, yes, the, the Central okay. of Jakarta. When we see the fireworks and also the drone mm-hmm. in Jakarta, so yeah, it was quite nice there with wow. the crowd. Wow, <laughs> so yeah. wonderful night, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Even the tongue action, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, yeah, I'm wondering, Kevin, you only, you, only, you only ask that question to Ita, not to Dewey and not to me? Yes. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, okay, so you're, okay, you're a picky person, you're asking to Ita only, oh, yeah. but not to us. Because the, the only beautiful one, right? Okay, what, yes. what did he ask, Kevin? Kevin! Kevin in Home Alone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now you're grown up, Kevin. Yeah, Kevin McAllister. Is, are you Kevin McAllister? No, okay. you're not Kevin McAllister. <laughs> Kevin. Oh, no, he's not Kevin McAllister. Also. Yeah. Who, Who is he? Who is Kevin? Who is Kevin? A mysterious <laughs> Kevin. Kevin Hernanda. Oh, Kevin Hernanda. Oh, okay. 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 Well. You're the Indonesian version of Kevin. Oh, then. Okay. Well. well, well. Okay, what's up? Okay, uh, okay, no, okay. <laughs> Kevin I think, yeah, okay. A- anyway, uh, thank you very much, Kevin, for your uh, time to ask a ke- uh, question to us. And now uh, we can continue to our talk show mm-hmm. because we have five topic of question that uh, mm-hmm. we would like to ask to Ita about our topic for today. But uh, feel free if you want to uh, ask submission us. Yeah. Oh, feel uh, free. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, now okay, we have Nanda. Okay. Okay, Nanda. Yeah. yeah Nanda. How, yes. How? Are, yeah. Okay. okay. Nanda. Yeah. We are, we are, we are fine, Nanda. Uh, uh, the three of us, uh, yeah. we, uh, Ita and me, we are all of us are fine. And how are you, uh, Nanda? Hope you are doing also fine. Ah, okay. Good. Okay. Nice. She's, yeah. She is also doing. Oh, okay. You are asking about oh the English. Free English course, yeah, we are still open oh, for yeah, free English uh-huh. course. Free English course is still open. Yeah, if you want to know more, just uh, chat with us uh, on our Instagram and then uh, the admin <coughs> will guide mm-hmm. you to the process of joining the free English course. When it will be start the English course? Okay, at uh, 15 January, right? 15 January, okay. it so will start at 15 just January. Just uh, click on your handphone and then so just uh, three of us, maybe four of us, which is open, mm-hmm. we'll assist you all. Mm. He lets you all. Okay, no worries. <laughs> yeah, okay. okay. So, uh, yeah, this English course will be free and also we have a certain target uh, to be the output for uh, your uh, knowledge development because uh, we are here 
to guide you and to accommodate you with certain mm -hmm. types of uh, methodology and also a learning process so you can excel in your future uh, career mm -hmm. development or in your future educational process. So that's why we are here, Fresh Education Consultants. We are here to help you and to build the bridge for you to be able to achieve uh, your mission in education and hopefully also in the career. To so brighten uh, your future. Right? Yeah, <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> to brighten your future. Especially in this new year. <laughs> especially in this new year. Okay, I think I, yeah, I think we can we can uh, skip for the question and answer session because mm -hmm. we are going to do the Q talk show, yeah, and Q and A. And okay, the first thing is about the key steps for international students that they should take in preparing for a new semester overseas. Okay, mm. yeah, I think uh, semester uh, overseas. Okay, what do you want to know? No, everything. So actually, uh, we have to prepare physically, you know, maybe about our knowledge as well. well mm -hmm. So how about the physically? Physically, physically yes. for a new semester? Yeah. That's it. Mm -hmm. uh, First. Okay, come on. Honestly, I didn't prepare anything physically. No, physically. <laughs> uh, because Alex. this is the uh, after New Year, right? Well, maybe, maybe you just go around and then it's uh, tired. Yeah. So I think <laughs> the physical things uh, should be prepared as well. Yeah, um, after New Year, it this uh, January February is the peak of the winter, mm -hmm. so you have to prepare. Well, physically you have to have the winter clothes. So there, it is a long coat, okay. um, coat, fur mm -hmm. coat can be also uh, the hat, the beanie, mm -hmm. and also the gloves. Okay. If, if you go for the four seasons country, but if you go to the Malaysia or Singapore, you don't need to do that because. Mm -hmm. They're tropical country, but if you go to four season country, of course that January February is the peak season, the peak winter season where there usually there's snow, there's snow and the temperature usually on below zero degrees Celsius. Okay. So what you have to prepare is you have to prepare the food first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have to buy groceries like yes. once in two weeks or once in a week in the bulk. Because during the winter, you trust me, you don't want to go out. Mm -hmm. You don't want to go out. But if there's a class during the winter, so you have to prepare your clothes. So usually, since I am not really good with winter, I use like double long john, mm -hmm. <laughs> double long john, and also uh, the best thing for to cover your hands is using the. Gloves. gloves yes. And the <coughs> best material for gloves is leather. Leather gloves, right? Yeah, leather or bunny fur, mm -hmm. uh, non, uh, not plastic. Oh yeah, it's or synthetic things. Okay. That's the best way to cover your hand. And also the beanie, don't forget because without the beanie, your head will be cold, and then you will get uh, cold easily. Oh, That's for physical, and then. If for the anything related mm -hmm. to the academic, just follow the deadlines from the admissions and your professor. Just following the deadline, that's uh -huh. it. And if you see the uh, the material during the new semester, okay, just ask your college or your friends like what what it will be like, the professor and the things. So you just follow it. Okay. That's I it. think, uh, Mr. Sun, do you have any idea about the physical preparation for the new semester? Is it different between uh, Indonesia or maybe other countries? Yeah, I think we should stay fit uh, mm -hmm. yeah, by uh, consuming uh, good n nutritious food, uh, mm -hmm. like uh, consists of uh, good fibers, good uh -huh. source of fibers and good source of vitamins mm -hmm. and good source of protein. I mean, uh, if uh, you can maintain your uh, health, that will be good. And yeah, one of among so many ways that you can maintain your health condition is that uh, con uh, your uh, food consumption. Right? Uh, yeah, you can consume like vitamins, and uh, yeah, there are so many uh, food that contains uh, vitamins, right? So you will have uh, omega three, omega yeah. six, yes. omega yes. six. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's so kind of that food, right? Yeah, so 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 you can maintain your uh, health and condition, and also. Uh, your immune system hmm. will be much better, okay. right? Yeah, I think uh, nutrition is uh, the best way to preserve your immune system mm -hmm. and also to maintain your health condition. Oh, right. 
So uh, I mean, uh, beside physical preparation, so uh, the step you can access data, right? So you can use oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> today I'm not asking you. Today it's also just, like, <laughs> just like how to maintain your body. <laughs> Yes, this is the first one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The most important is yeah? yeah. keep our body fit, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> because you know, uh, different weather. Yes. Uh, sometimes, uh, yeah, we have to uh, maintain the stability of mm-hmm. the health condition. Not so. just national, national <laughs> stability. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, so uh, come again. Uh, your question was. Oh, uh, so this is a uh, uh, question number one. What are uh, sorry? What are the uh, the key step uh, international students should uh, take in preparing for a new semester overseas. Okay, the first one already yeah. answered. Okay, yeah. physical uh, preparation. What well, the next one? Okay. Uh, well, basically, there is no special thing that you have to prepare mm-hmm. for the admission as long as your GPA is good. But mm-hmm. unless you are very stupid, you have mm-hmm. to work in hard. But if your GPA is quite good, like three. Basically, you don't need to prepare much or prepare a lot. You just need to follow the guidelines from the uh, university mm-hmm. and the admission about the schedule for the, the new semester. But if you're stupid enough from the previous mm-hmm. semester, you have to work hard okay. and you have to like to get the best score right in okay. the next semester to catch to make your GPA is good, like okay. above three. But if that's it. So just make yourself smart, lah. <laughs> okay, just to make uh, to make ourselves smart, right? Yeah. So uh, yeah. that uh, so could uh, it could be underlined that two kinds mm-hmm. that should be prepared, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The first is physical preparation, and mm-hmm. the second one is that about academic preparation. Ac- academic preparation, academic preparation. Right. Okay. Well, if you're stupid, so don't be stupid. Mm-hmm. But if you are like lack of score, like you, let's say you have D or E. Oh. Uh, in the previous subject or at the previous semester, you, so you have to remedial take a remedial test okay. right in the, in the new semester, and uh, in the new semester you have to manage your time mm-hmm. for the new lessons and to have the remedial for the previous lessons, mm-hmm. which is it will be burden you, right? So, uh, well, my suggestion is if you. Uh, your score is like in the previous semester and you're stupid enough you have to be good in time management okay, okay well. just stop party just stop playing stop a picnic or traveling just focus on your study okay. if you have uh, if you didn't make it in the previous semester okay, okay. nice nice answer so you yeah. have to so experience you, yeah. Yeah. so you have yeah. to be focused on your study yeah? well mm-hmm. you you go abroad to study right not to yeah. party Unless you have, unless you will yeah. get money to, yeah. from the party. Maybe there are some people who go abroad or mm-hmm. who, yeah, uh, you know, they study, but also they want to gain experience on uh, their working as a maybe as a part-time worker. Or oh yeah, so don't be, don't need to carry on because some in some countries uh, they over. I mean, it in some countries it's easy to get the part-time job, just like in Japan. Also in Australia, but don't get carry on with that because the the purpose of you studying abroad is to study. Just to study. Yeah, it's just to study. Okay. Part time job is like your second priority. Let's okay, see. your first priority is to study. So what's the? <laughs> I mean, so you have to be focused on your study first instead of the part time. So it's like it's it's not worth you get the part time salary. The box, but you get a bad score. Mm-hmm. At the end, you have to lengthen your stay, okay. which also will consume your money. Mm, okay. Right. Well, next, and this is related to financial yeah. preparation, I think, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So, financial uh, preparation is it included to to be the I mean the the, the some steps to be prepared? Yeah, yeah. Of okay. Course. Everything is related to financial. Okay. Mr. Right? Pauli, so, what do you think? You cannot prepare like new semester without uh, having a planning in finance yes 
in case if you are maybe a fully scholarship, right? Mm. If there is a fully scholarship, maybe you have so you have to seek. Even though plan. even though you are fully scholarship, you don't uh-huh. want to like spend your money like that mm. because sometimes this scholarship coming to your account late. Oh, <laughs> like most of my friends having scholarship late, so yeah, they just run out of money. Mister mm. <laughs> Tony, it's a uh, common things happen uh, during study abroad. Okay, yeah, I see. There's so many challenges. Yeah, yeah this is so challenging, of course, because also. you're not in your country. So, mm-hmm. and you are like uh, in the new, the whole new country, which is you don't have any family there. So, see, all by yourself, and yes. you have to think strategically must be and, tough, and focus like, on your purpose <laughs> to, for your academic, not anything. I see. Anything else? Like. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Then. Uh, we got another so, question. Oh, nice. Huh? Yes. From uh, uh, Dinda. Okay. okay, Dinda. Hi, uh, you, Dinda. <laughs> yeah. Kaita. Uh, okay, what? me, me again. <laughs> yeah, you again. <laughs> what are your strategies? to set realistic academic goals and expectations for the upcoming semester bro. Okay. okay, realistically nice. goal. Okay, uh, just set top. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you get A. <laughs> you get A. And even in the mid-semester, if you don't feel like, okay, I'm not really, let's say in the finance class. Okay. I'm not really good in Accounting or financial things. So let's say just B plus or B minus is good, but not less than C. <laughs> yes, <laughs> of course. Less than C means you are very stupid, right? Yes. <laughs> and you have to do a remedial, right? Okay, okay. So you will know the ability of yourself during mm-hmm. that semester. Okay, yeah. and you will set the realistically your target for that. Yeah. And if you set the realistically target, I'm yeah. pretty sure you will not uh, have to do like remedial process. Oh. <laughs> okay, if you let's say if you're stupid in math, okay, and you have the calculus class. <laughs> I think I have a problem with mathematics. So. What I don't understand, don't understand about <laughs> mathematics. And you set A plus yeah. as a target, yeah. you will okay. mix yourself burden yes. and like uh, it will consume your time. Mm-hmm. And you just stay up to, I mean, you spend your time just focus on the calculus thing and mathematics, mathematics things while you have another uh, subject to learn, right? Yes. So realistically, you just put B minus for that. Mm-hmm. As long as you don't do remedial. That's, that's okay, good. that's fine, that's good. That's <laughs> you have to think strategically. Yeah, you know, uh, that statement of yours is mm-hmm. intriguing me. What makes you having a problem with mathematics? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is, uh, I, I think this is related to our friend, right? <laughs> uh, maybe, did, did you try to shake hands with <laughs> mathematics? <laughs> no, actually, uh, you get trauma with math. Yes, I got a trouble with mathematics. I have learned much and uh, I have learned uh, a lot, but the <laughs> the result is still on that ah, the number, right? Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. So we are we are, we are talking about a certain particular uh, person. Uh-huh. Okay, uh, dealing with this math because uh, some people are born to like the particular subject, uh-huh. and even some people are born with the ability. Uh, yeah, the ability. The yeah, the yes. ability talent also to like this uh, particular subject like in sports like in arts like in mm-hmm. you know maybe mm-hmm. once you maybe you've heard about steam you know uh, that uh, that's the abbreviation for science technology engineering arts and math mm-hmm. right? in which uh, most of the international schools they are uh, trying to build the foundation of knowledge through the this steam project mm-hmm. within the curriculum within the syllabus yes. so there is always the science technology engineering Stand arts on. and math ah. okay and uh, okay we have another question okay. from okay from riri riri yeah riri hana yeah riri hi riri so uh 
do you have the most unique and fun lecture? For me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, during my time in Bologna, Italy, uh, well, actually, all the. Oh, yeah, I have this one guy. He teach us math. <laughs> professor? Is yeah, he yeah, a professor? Yeah, yeah uh -huh. professor. He also uh, teach in Leeds University and also some university in the UK. Wow. Amazing. Yeah, uh, he taught us for the mathematics, but for industrial. Oh. <laughs> mm. That was quite complicated, <laughs> right? Yes. <laughs> Where we have to calculate the yes. uh, the production process, mm -hmm. the production process, like kind of like engineering things, like industrial engineering. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Which I don't have any engineering yes, background. Yes, yeah. Yeah. So at the time, uh, one day they have like since he flew from the UK, mm -hmm. so we have one day eight hours, eight hours, just math with him. <laughs> wow! Could you imagine, Mister Tony? Get out with just math, eight mathematics. hours, just yeah. do mathematics <laughs> with him. Nice. <laughs> he does some case studies and he asks us to solve the case studies mm -hmm. in the group. Oh, and okay, yeah. our our brain just like. Uh, are we? Yeah. We have a blank brain, like what? <laughs> yeah, I know. You, you know, yeah. Sometimes some, uh, some sort of instructions are meant to mm -hmm. uh, forum group discussion mm -hmm. or small group activities. That that's was, what makes yeah. it interesting. It right? was small group activities, but I actually I thank God for the group activities because I can be one with uh, my friend who is good in math. Ah. So you have to think strategically for yes. that for the group work. <laughs> if you're bad at math, if you're bad in calculus, just sit. go with friend uh, go with friend or sit mm -hmm. near your friend <laughs> besides friend yes. who is good in math and number in numerical in calculus. So there is no I mean difference between when you are studying abroad in Indonesia, when you find difficulty, yeah. you just sit yeah. Yeah. <laughs> by the person to interpret the person okay. that is good in it. Yeah, I think it's a common sense, right? Yeah, it's common, sense. common sense. <laughs> <laughs> Logic, logically speaking, yeah. yes. okay. I mean, is it, is it's it the same, thing. I mean, the same culture with maybe the, I mean, native, uh, native. Yeah. Okay. I think uh, it's <laughs> good. It's they good do the do same, same. in any yeah. other ah, part of the yeah, world. I see. Yeah. Oh. So, so yeah, human basically the same. Yeah. Mm. Just different casing. Ah, I see. <laughs> yes, the casing is different. Basically, humor is same everywhere. So the nature is the same. Yeah, the nature is the same. Okay, nice. <laughs> so, All the different casing. Yeah. So I think we have already reached our uh -huh. time. What? Uh, okay. I think this is one five minutes. What? Really? really? Oh my God! Oh gosh! Five so fast. So fast. So uh, okay, although we still have one, two, oh, we still have three questions. Okay, okay. okay. It's just one, yeah. just one, just, just one. one. Oh, one. Okay, I think uh, we will continue to discuss about the question for the next episode. Okay. Okay. Anyway, oh, okay. thank you guys for okay. joining us. And thank you guys. And, yeah. So uh, let the keep, uh, let keep the. <laughs> okay, guys. You know. Are you okay? okay. Are you, are you okay? Are you, are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Are you tired? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you look so tired. Okay, now, Let's keep the good stuff going, water. okay? If you enjoyed today's episode, you can hit the like button and okay, don't forget that we have so many um, social media channels on TikTok. We are we're yeah. also available on TikTok YouTube. and also Instagram, Instagram and YouTube Instagram. also. And we are also connecting with the Chamber Guy channel, okay? Just uh, visit the Chamber Guy channel if you are uh, interested to learn more about how the Chamber of Commerce work and then you can find so many insights from the Chamber guys because he is our uh, Chief Operating Officer and also the Senior Consultant in the Press Education and we are collaborating with him and uh, also we are open for the free English course mm -hmm. okay if you On would like to January. yeah if you would like to register for our free English course program feel free to do that mm -hmm. and we would be glad and would, would be uh, very delighted to welcome you on our program okay mm -hmm. so don't forget to spread the joy let's make sure everyone knows where the party is at every tuesday at 2 30 p.m yeah.
Okay, thank you very much for today and have a good day Bye. and have a great new year guys. Thank you. Thank you. See you guys. Bye.